My name's Matt, and welcome to another episode of Rocket Surgery. I really like this time of year. It's a lot of fun to get out into the garage. Uh, you get to break out the flannel and the uh, car hearts. The shop rebuild is going really well. As you can tell, I still don't have power out, so we're running off of a single extension cord there. But the biggest acquisition so far is I now own a table saw. And not just any table saw, I own a uh, vintage Powercraft table saw. I'm not too familiar with the brand, but it's got a cast iron top and the price was right, so I picked it up. It's only an eight inch blade, but mm, who cares? If I'm cutting something four inches thick and eight feet long, I'm, I'm probably not doing it on the table saw, let's be honest. So I'm gonna use my saw horses. Those will be a nice temporary base for this thing. And here, as I feel the hernia, is the, uh, the setup. So this monster motor here, and then just a bunch of old pine boards kind of haphazardly screwed together. I guess the first order of business is going to be uh, grabbing an extension cord and making sure that this motor works properly. So we'll get... Uh... Are you still recording? The initial test cut went well. Everything works. Um, problem though is that there's a ton of rust on it. So we're gonna clean this up. Now, normally what I would do is grab a can of WD-40, spray it on, and then use some steel wool and scrub all the rust off. But the problem with WD-40 is that it has silicone in it. So silicone is weird, but kind of cool. The only thing that will stick to silicone is silicone. Uh, so anything else won't stick to it. So if you get a drop of silicone on your work, on your final piece, when you put the finish on, it won't stick. When I talked to the guys down at the local wood store, they recommend just using finish wax. So the first order of business is gonna be scrubbing off the top with uh, a clean piece of steel wool just to get the big flex of rust off. Okay, some of that's pretty pretty on there. So we're gonna switch over to the big guns. <laughs> 